We call this the place where the waters meet. So the Atlantic Ocean and St. John's River and the Nassau River all come together to create this estuary, a uh, place where water, salt water mixes with fresh water. There's bird watching, tremendous bird watching, because you have so many different habitats all coming together in one place. The Timucuan Ecological and Historic Preserve was established by legislation in 1988. They sought to protect the salt marsh ecosystem with over 6,000 years of human habitation. This area has a number of different historic sites and prehistoric sites, uh, all within the preserve boundary. We are uh, a little unique in the national park system. Uh, there are people who live here in the park within the boundaries. We have commercial port operations going through the park. There's commercial fishing as well as recreational fishing, boating, kayaking, water skiing, jet skiing, there's a lot of subsistence uses. People are still using the waterways and fishing for dinner. So why is water quality monitoring important to us here at the preserve? You know, water is an essential element and we depend on it for a number of different reasons. You want fish that comes out of clean water, otherwise it'll make you sick. Understanding water quality helps us understand the ecology and the dynamics of the estuary. Uh, without knowing something about those dynamics and the interactions between water quality and the ecosystem, it's hard to manage uh, the estuary or protect it or conserve it. Well, some of the tools we use to measure water quality are the, the data signs that are instruments that we place in the water. It's almost like a, a robot that you can put out in, in the water and leave it there, and it just collects data okay. all day long. This is configured to measure conductivity and temperature. This sensor measures pH, the acidity of the water. This sensor measures turbidity, which is the cloudiness of the water. And our last and final sensor is dissolved oxygen. They stay in the water for 365 days a year, seven days a week. They collect data on the temperature of the water, the salinity, the pH, the dissolved oxygen, and all of these parameters are important for the life in the estuary. In addition to the, the fixed station monitoring that we do here, we also do monitoring on a boat where we go out and visit sites all across the preserve and collect the same kinds of data. We also do chemistry samples where we measure the amount of nutrients in the water. What the boat sampling gives us is a, a snapshot, more or less, of what's going on across the whole preserve. A long-term data set is important in that it gives you a really good perspective on how we're doing managing our resource. With continuous water quality monitoring, and critical to our success is partnerships. There are a number of different agencies that have a stake in the preserve. A few years ago, the city of Jacksonville, the state of Florida, and the National Park Service formed a partnership, the Three Rivers Conservation Coalition. We are now working as a team, working with the city and the state to develop common protocols, um, and all with the same common goal, and that's understanding the water quality in the preserve. So we know that shellfish harvesting is a historic activity because we have a huge number of shell middens. And these are large repositories of oyster shells. Uh, they've been mined to build the tabby slave cabins at Kingsley Plantation. Around 1994, shellfish harvesting was closed because of water quality concerns. So the beds haven't been open for harvesting for over 20 years now. And so we've worked with our partners in the city of Jacksonville, the state of Florida. We're seeing that the water quality has improved. We no longer have the issues that we had in the past. It's exciting and even scary to think that at some point in the near future, we may have shellfish harvesting again. Um, that would be accomplishing one of our goals in our general management plan to restore the shellfish harvesting beds. Everything that happens in the preserve is really dependent on the water. So water quality is critically important. And I believe in our mission to protect and conserve these beautiful 
resources. I want my grandchildren's grandchildren to experience what I've been able to experience and to see what I've seen.